welcome to this farm from Gitti and from me here in uh, Arlen, Kreis Warendorf. You see the house behind us and we are very proud to have you wow. here. When did you start your center and what was your mission with your center? Okay, we start this center I think 2010 and this farm because we have some nice environment and this is uh, what we have and we found it that all children come here they always happy we want to make a place um, where families and children can make experience with nature and with animals and not to be in um, fear they can feel comfortable here with the animals with horses and dogs <laughs> and to go in the forest Yes, and that's uh, the mission to um, have a good place for children. Okay, can you show us around a little bit? So what have you created for your center? Here, this is a place with a big swing. Um, in summer we have a big trampoline. At the moment it is inside. And, <laughs> and over, the, there. over there a big whip. Yeah. All is really XXL, but it's interesting for the children to um, feel the body swinging on a really big swing. And together with dad or mom. And we have chicken here. Oh, there we can uh, go with the children inside and look for uh, collecting eggs or for uh, <laughs> hear the noises and uh, make studies what are chi chicken doing and um, searching for food in the earth. Okay, and, and you have trees yes, in there? Yes, I, I show you the trees. Please follow me. And this, this area is a wonderful area. We can uh, have um, homes for birds, like look there. Mm -hmm. And this is a small birds, uh, singing birds. And over there in the big tree, we have uh, a special oils and this area is wonderful in the summer oh, owls. owls okay owls, yes, owls. really little owls and every year the owl comes here again and this is the hunting area from the owl okay this place here and the orchard where yes. the fruit trees are what fruit trees yes the yeah. fruit trees is very interesting Every time uh, since um, my journey, you know, you have some uh, fruits, uh, fruits here, and you can pick up it here. Not yet, but later you have cherries, you have apples, you have uh, plums, plums, and so on, and it's wonderful. How many children do you serve per week? For one week, you can um, say between 20 and 25 children are coming to this place. Some together with the whole family, some um, do all, um, spend time alone. And yes, we started. Yeah, we started with uh, uh, three sons of us, and two of them Our are son. in the school now, but here is Julian, Hello. the oldest one, is 16 years old now. and. He is a very good inspirator here, but the other two boys also good inspiration for us, and yeah, we are very proud of them. Okay, we can go in the uh, arena. Okay. I'm coming. Yeah, we are in the arena. It's like your, the best place we have here, I think. Ah, the nature is the natural arena. But um, here always uh, the children are playing. First, behind us here, they are jumping like this. Or if they very, they can climb here about this throw and go and jump like this. Girl, look in there. Yes. And you see, the kids have so many space to 
move and to run and to climb. That is very important for the kids. Before we start another uh, another step, the, uh, the kids must have uh, this place for the lost their energy. Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us what else you have here? Yes, we have a mud kitchen for cooking and creating things for food for the ponies and the dogs. <laughs> yes, uh, we have places for the children to draw with a kind of vista Chalk. On, on the wall. These are all pictures from children, uh, very creative children. Uh, one autistic boy draw from his fantasy only um, with his hands. In a few minutes, this uh, really fantastic, beautiful, um, beautiful yes. pictures. Yeah. Yes. And other children did. Yeah. Come, please come and follow me. This is for the horses to go on with front Ooh. steps. Really cool. But children love that too, right? Yeah, children love that yeah. too. And, and this, uh, one, this is a creative, creative corner here. <laughs> you have drawing things and so on. And I like this here. You must have the sword. And I fight with the boys. It's very Where's your wife? Ah, <laughs> now this one. Okay. And yes. This, the, the, the boys especially love this uh, fighting. And sometimes, oh, look here, what's that? Sometimes we are, go hunting, later we go in the forest, and this is uh, a piece of the uh, Rehbock from the what? forest. How do your horses live? Our horses live in an active stable. They don't have to be uh, time in boxes. We want them to be in groups and they can um, spend the time in with each other and they are not bored. They have uh, the climber, they have uh, rain and wind and machines they can see and because of that they are really cool with all stuff and not afraid of things that happen and it's uh, for safetyness, it's for that they are really happy and soft with the children and with me and interested in the work <laughs> like this is coming asking Hello. can we do something for you <laughs> he wants to work with us <laughs> happy horses in um, yeah, specific um, place for them to live in Q1. freedom how are your sessions funded okay that is a special question because there's very different between the families they are uh, stay here. Some families have a uh, government payment, some families uh, are uh, sold it by uh, the themselves, but uh, some uh, foundations give the money for these families, and this is a mixture of all. Okay, can you tell us where we are now? Chica. Okay, but now we are in another secret place on this farm. It's uh, called Lena's place because uh, I show you uh, this little forest here. Okay, we go and we have several <laughs> chance to go here in the forest. And we have a uh, Several places here. Here is for uh, circles, lection, balancing, balance. Here. Oh, <laughs> if you can go there. And in the summer we have a slack line here, or we have a meeting, and over there is a fireplace. That's wonderful, but not in the winter. And we can go through this little forest to the uh, to the big forest. The big okay. Forest. Let's. One. 
how did you learn about horse boy method and movement method and what made you decide to learn our methods? Okay. First, I explain you this place here. Yeah, we have the big forest. Look here. And in the forest is a big lake. Wonderful, secret place. But, okay, how did you learn this? When I worked with the children, with horses and families, my feeling was uh, not only to to look um, the, or to take the focus on the child um, with special needs or something or autistic children. I wanted to have the whole family and the siblings and um, take the child maybe to horses, maybe in the forest, maybe in nature, on a trail ride or something. And then I heard um, from the method of Rupert Isaacson with Horse Boy, and I was really. Oh, um, I was wondering, it's a method and there is science behind to work with this, not only from the feeling, to have a system to learn something about science, why does this principle work? And because of that I wanted to study and to learn about Horse Boy, to have um, tools and stuff and helps for the families and the children. You see every day with the children and the kids here and the families how successful this work is and we found it this method wonderful what that it is very nice and now we have this uh, method here and we are so proud about this one what is your mission for the future of mensch und pferd okay our mission for future is we have a dream that this place is a place for more families and more children to get help and to get nice time with um, understanding, better understanding for children with autism and other special needs. And we want to open it for more people and to make the method um, that more people know about Horse Boy and the movement method, <clears throat> teacher, parents, schools, uh, other therapeutic people to uh, let them know there is something that can help us make the world a better place for children with autism and to get into the nature and this is a place that people can come and learn and know and we can maybe we can train other people they are interested in this method they can come and we want to train them yes the kids have so good ideas every day they have wonderful ideas and they have so many potential potential inside and we want to break it off and uh, go uh, and let us see what the kids can do Yes, and can you tell us a little bit about your Care Farm project? Okay, Care Farm is very interested because they put it all together and we have, uh, we see that the farm, the nature, the animals all here are helping all people, especially the, uh, the kids, but if the kids are okay, the parents are okay and together they stay here and they are very good they have more energy uh, if they leave the farm uh, before they come and this is wonderful to feel and that is a vision to uh, see what can we do outside in the nature and this is uh, can everybody can do it and we want to help so, them i think it's not only a place to have nice feelings into nature. You can start with academic learning into nature. You can go with the children and teach mathematics or um, to teach languages or um, something about the nature, about biologic, uh, physical, as, uh, astronomy. Um, All the stuff from yes, the school. You can, uh, you can learn it in this nature here. And the, by the way, not we say, not we make, now we make mathematics. That is, by the way, we see it uh, left and right side uh, from the trail and we build it in, in this adventure. That make it so easy to learn. And fun. And fun. <laughs> to have fun and to take humor. Uh, you have, it's opening the mind of children to be able to learn.
on, go. Ah, now we are in the little garden here. I love, for example, the raspberries. They are so delicious and every time we go here and you can pick up. Not yet, but in the summer. And over there, have a look. There are the horses and they are sleeping in the sun. Wonderful. It can be all, all we can do the same, Julian, or <laughs> sleeping in the sun. <laughs> Okay, what, what would you like to see happening in Germany in the future? Uh, I think all the people live in big cities. All people uh, have a lot of noise, a lot of smog and so on. And they go away from the nature. And the humans come from the nature. All the time we live as a hunter and a farmer in nature and now all people live in the big cities and they lost so many important things for their life and we have here a chance to find these things they are very good for everybody and we must pick it up and we must ha uh, uh, open your eyes and see what we do and what what can we do outside and this is very fine and we must tell about this mission yes what would you like to uh, ask horse people and farmers to do in germany this farmers and uh, horse people are very good specialist in go outside and have a look outside and what is a wonderful nature here and this specialist must go uh, must open their space and to the people and come here relax here and see what we do outside and the other people have a more and more understanding what is the work of the farmer why it's it's so important for uh, all people together here in the world or in this city or so on and you must see it and you must uh, put it uh, you, you must feel it and you must go outside and that is a big chance for the farmers for the nature uh, people in nature uh, they are live outside for the most people live in the cities and they're sitting and they are um, Many of them are not so comfortable with the body and many of them not so uh, have no idea and I think the only way is go back to the uh, nature where you come humans from. <laughs>